In the heart of every adversity lies the potential for extraordinary transformation. Karen Heng's story is a testament to the immense power of faith, the resilience of the human spirit, and the transformative influence of the Gohanzan in true Buddhism. Two years ago, Karen's world was shattered when her daughter, Hilda, was diagnosed with a malformed left kidney shortly after birth. The family faced a grueling series of medical challenges that ultimately led to a devastating diagnosis of letterer Siwi disease, a rare and aggressive malignant blood cancer. The news struck the Heng family like a thunderbolt. The doctor's prognosis was bleak. Hilda's condition was deemed incurable, her tiny body ravaged by cancer that had spread to vital organs. A cloud of hopelessness descended upon Karen and her husband as they sought solace through various spiritual avenues, spending considerable resources in desperate attempts to save their daughter. Amidst this despair, Karen's life took a fateful turn. Introduced to the Gohanzon by her district leader, Mdem Li Bi Eng, Karen learned that her daughter's illness was rooted in her own karma. Mdem Li Bi Eng's sincerity moved Karen, compelling her to embrace the practice of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. With faith as her guiding light, Karen commenced her daily prayers, chanting for hours with unwavering determination. Miraculously, Hilda's condition began to improve. The family witnessed a glimmer of hope as the effects of Karen's prayers became evident. Though challenges persisted, Karen's faith remained steadfast. She chanted fervently for wisdom, praying that the doctors would find a less painful treatment method for Hilda. Karen's prayers were answered when, less than a month later, the medical team discovered an oral treatment, sparing Hilda the agony of injections. Karen's devotion to her faith deepened. She committed herself to the practice of Gongyo, immersing her life in the teachings of Nichiren Daishonin. With each prayer, Karen believed that she was not only lessening her daughter's karmic retribution, but also transforming poison into medicine. Hilda's progress was nothing short of miraculous. Within a year of practicing Buddhism, her health remarkably improved, astonishing the medical professionals who had initially predicted a grim outcome. Astonishingly, a year after Hilda's treatment ended, she emerged as a healthy, lively three-year-old, defying all odds. The medical community recognized the extraordinary nature of her recovery, leading to her case being referred to the National University of Singapore NUH Pediatrics for study. Unbeknownst to them, it was the power of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo at work, shaping destiny and rewriting the story of a little girl's life. Looking back, Karen acknowledged the profound impact of the Gohanzen in her life. The family enshrined the Gohanzen in May 1981, marking the beginning of their transformative journey. Karen's gratitude overflowed, inspiring her to dedicate herself to the happiness of others. Through the women's division, she shared her experiences, introducing Buddhism to countless souls and offering them a beacon of hope. Karen's story stands as a testament to the teachings of true Buddhism. It echoes the wisdom of the 26th high priest, Nichikan Shonen, proving that no prayer goes unanswered, no sin remains unforgiven, and that all good fortune and righteousness are bestowed upon those who embrace the practice of Nam Meoho Renge Kyo. In the face of despair, Karen Heng found not just healing, but also purpose through her faith. Her journey became a testament to the boundless potential of human transformation when guided by unwavering faith. In dedicating herself to others, she embodied the spirit of compassion that defines the practice of Buddhism, offering a message of hope to all those who face adversity. Through her story, Karen illuminated the path from darkness to light, despair to hope, and suffering to boundless joy, proving that karma can indeed be transformed through faith in the Gohan Zone.